So the video you've all been waiting for, the school's returned from holiday and we're here now with Sabrina and she's going to show us what they're going to do with the school. They've got lots of plans because of the generosity of you guys, they've been able to actually do so many things and, and plan so many things in. Yeah, definitely. I think um, obviously the, the plan was to re-roof one of the buildings but they've had that done within the time with the budget that they're at yeah. and the money that you've helped raise has allowed them to get um, obviously stuff that they wouldn't have been able to get that they would have been out with so mm -hmm. stuff like furniture um, and just getting their groundwork done really. Yeah and just to be beautify it a bit they've got lots of plans and they're, they're going to work with the school in the area as well um, the, the school, next school Jonathan will go to as well to, to get to just to beautify this place mm -hmm. and to buy a few things yeah. yeah it is it's fantastic and the end figure after all of the absolute fees and all that was 10,900 10,900 in total which is super donc c'était 10,900 so yeah it's just amazing to, to think obviously that all of you have raised that amount um, absolutely this yeah. is like say it's, it'll be a game changer for them they're going to be able to, to redo the maternal side as well which brings kids into the school mm -hmm. yeah um, which is like the, the preschool sort of thing um, and it be a, they'll be able to attract more kids to come here it's such a fantastic little school and um, that it, uh, we think it's just absolutely brilliant for the area yeah, yeah definitely it's and it's just brilliant that obviously like we could help out in whatever way we can with it mm -hmm. so yeah, so what we're going to do is we're just going to have a little walk around the school so we'll be able to show you. Sabrina will um, explain obviously how they're going to be using the funds and obviously improving the school with it, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's fantastic. Oui. Yeah. Nous voudrions vous uh, expliquer uh, pour uh, quel les agents les pour ici. Oui. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, nous allons marcher. Uh, oui, bien sûr. Nous allons visiter l'école et expliquer les travaux à venir. Avec ah. plaisir. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, we'll super. have a look around now then. Come on then. So one of the main things that they wanted to do was um, revamp the um, maternal. Et le toit, il a un problème avec le toit. Alors le toit est vieux. Oui. Et donc uh, il a besoin d'être refait. Oui. Et puis il y a eu aussi une petite fuite effectivement uh, au mois de juillet. Oui. Donc c'est une nécessité uh, de le refaire complètement. Uh, donc il sera refait uh, à la Toussaint au mois de novembre. So they're going to get the, the rest of the works done. It was necessary to do some remedial work, I think, and they're going to get the rest of the works done in November to complete to complete it all. But this is one of the main areas that they really wanted to do up. Um, when we spoke about doing a fundraiser, um, this is where Sabrina really wanted to um, zhuzh up and make it really attractive for, for new kids coming to the school. Vous allez trouver une salle qui n'est pas très rangée oui. parce que c'est les vacances. <laughs> so. Mais ça, ça va venir. So, it's a bit messy because I've been on holidays, school holidays, but this is this is where they want to um, to do up. So again, look around like the, the computer and the machinery that's really basic and it means that what they're going to be able to do is, is make this a, a really attractive place and, and a good learning environment for the new kids coming into the school. So they're going to replace, I think, uh, remplace les Les murs, les... Oui, les murs vont être complètement remplacés, oui. le plafond oui. va être refait, euh, voilà, et les éclairages oui. également. Et les meubles aussi. Et oui. les, voilà, et donc le mobilier, euh, euh, on souhaite acheter du mobilier neuf pour pouvoir euh, 
ré, ré enchanté cette pièce. Mmh. Voilà. Du mobilier, des petites tables pour remplacer celles qui sont ici, mmh. les chaises qui vont avec. Et puis, aménager tout un espace vestiaire sur ces deux pans de mur pour que les enfants puissent se dévêtir le matin, se rhabiller le soir. Et donc, euh, voilà, sur tout cet espace. So, so basically everything in here is going to be able to be replaced now. Mm -hmm. If you look around, you'll see it's it, it's quite old and they've needed to replace it for a while. And it's really good that what you have done is going to be able to, it's going to benefit so many children this year and, and for many years to come as well. So I think you're really good. Très joli. Oui. Oui, 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 tout à fait. Et on souhaite aussi pouvoir aménager des, aménager, pardon, des rangements. Oui. Donc ici, tout, on souhaiterait toute une colonne de rangement pour pouvoir ranger les jeux des enfants qui là sont dispersés un petit peu partout dans les espaces. So they're going to be able to buy new shelves and everything and, and to be able to organize it better because everything's kind of crammed in. So they'll be able to do a lot more with it and, and yeah, they'll look a lot better in here. Et on souhaiterait aussi pouvoir penser à des espaces d'affichage oui. au-dessus des vestiaires, des espaces propres pour les affichages. <laughs> so they'll be able to have a proper um, like workspace mm -hmm. on the walls and stuff, so it's good. Ainsi que des nouveaux rideaux oui. pour, euh, <laughs> pour pouvoir, parce que le soleil donne beaucoup par ici, oui. donc pouvoir euh, aussi protéger les enfants et puis avoir un petit peu d'ombre quand c'est nécessaire. So they're even going to be able to replace the curtains as well, which they've wanted to do for a while, um, because they get the sun quite a lot in here, and, it, and new curtains will help protect the kids and everything in here as well. Stop it getting too warm. Yeah. So we're back outside, um, and this is going to see a big change this year, thanks to again to you guys. Um, don't see. Do you know for we see? Oui. Alors oui. Au pied des arbres. Oui. Peut-on mettre de la verdure et des fleurs? So around all the bases of the trees, they're going to. Uh, oui, enlever le béton oui. et mettre de la verdure euh, des fleurs. So place. we're going to take the concrete off and oh, oh, nice good. flowers in. Yeah. Nice flowers. Yeah. So we've got pretty flowers, so just to, again, just to beautify the place. So this is about 12, 13 years old and it's every year they have to just basically manage it. So this money will help. Again, replace stuff like this and just redo everything that they can here. Like I said, they, they are so good with the money and Sabrina managed it in such a fantastic way. Like what, what, they, what they're going to be able to do with it will go so, so far. Um, and like I said, there's, there's people willing to help in the local area as well. Um, because of what we've done and what we've been able to do, there's people volunteering their time. So people that, um, like carpenters and stuff like that, the, the, the fabricators are going to actually work with the school and do it at a cost basis for them. So around right. the back of the school they've got a little um, field. Yeah, well, you might not have seen Ash and Jonathan in some of the videos because you have came up here a couple of times to cut the grass, haven't you? Yeah, so um, at the weekends, um, the families of all the kids here take turns to actually come and cut the grass um, so that it stays in good shape. Again, they don't have the money for a groundsman or anything like that, so the families take it in turn to sign up, volunteer their time on a weekend to, to come and coupe les herbes. Oui, exactement. Donc c'est toutes les familles, les... Oui, il y a un roulement des familles. Oui, oui. Uh, so it's all the families that come and actually maintain this space. Yeah. Donc, vous, vous voulez quoi ici? Alors ici, nous souhaitons installer des carrés de jardin pour chaque classe. Et puis aussi euh, planter euh, peut-être un ou deux arbres pour euh, apporter de l'ombre l'été, parce que c'est très ensoleillé de ce côté. Et donc quand nous nous réunissons avec l'ensemble des enfants, parfois c'est un peu difficile d'être au soleil euh, euh, assez longtemps. Et puis euh, c'est aussi un espace de récréation maintenant, donc on souhaite pouvoir aménager euh, euh, des espaces où on pourrait s'asseoir, où on pourrait faire des parcours pour les maternelles. Voilà. So it's really to change the space because in summer it's really warm. So they want to plant some trees so that they can actually use this space. And there's a number of other things. What, they were, what else were they going to do? Um, they're gonna, so they're going to make um, like, um, a park for the little kids so they can yeah. play with them so they can't And they're just making it a place to play. Yeah, so for, for the little kids in um, the maternal, just to make a nice space out here away from the, the big kids. Um, so they've just got somewhere to, to, to play out here and, and do different things out here, just give them a different space to utilise. 
be brilliant. And what we'll be able to do is obviously keep you updated bit by bit throughout mm -hmm. the year. Yeah. yeah, most of it's going to happen in September. Um, most yeah. of the stuff, I think Serena's going to buy a lot of the furniture September. Yeah. And a lot of the ground's going to be planted in September. So towards the end of the year, we can keep you updated then. Yeah. Donc c'est à quoi nous allons retour en dernier de l'année. À voir. Tout à fait, vous oui. serez les bienvenus, au contraire, au Merci. contraire, au fur et à mesure mm -hmm. des travaux. Oui. oui, oui, au contraire. So, we're welcome to come back and see the, the work as it's going on and, and what they're actually going to do with it so we can keep you guys updated. This is just talking about what they want to do. They've literally just returned back from Vic, um, back on, uh, holidays. So, they're, they're back in the school this week and they're making the plans of what they can actually do now. They've got the money there so they can actually go ahead and they can order their furniture and, and order the things that they want to do and actually put in place these things now. So it's superb. <laughs> so over here the wall's leaning and again they've not had the money to, to be able to do this so they're going to replace all of this wall as well just to make it a safe environment out here for the kids. Yeah. And again this is things they just would have to put off and put off till it was at a point at which it was dangerous and they had no choice. Well yeah, like maybe like in the UK you just think well the school would just get sorted because of safety reasons and all that but they get obviously the money from government or whatever. They get there again from the local here. It's just a local like um, Catholic society. Yeah. Um, in the area, so they get a budget and they have to, to budget it. And like Sabrina was saying just off camera, there, um, she would normally buy like one table at a time and, and one set of chairs at a time. Whereas with this, they're going to be able to replace everything in one go and have everything new and, and to be able to be used. And, and yeah, it'll just last a lot longer and it'll be a lot cheaper for them as well buying it in bulk rather than one at a time. One at a time. Yeah. So. So the wall here, is that the one that they're just going to take all down yep. and then rebuild it right the way yep. along? Brilliant. New safe wall. Uh, yep. like out here they're going to have it as a space for the, for the kids as well, so it's a different area for them to come play in. And, and like I say, they want some trees out here, um, some big trees, so yeah. that the kids can actually be out here and be safe and be shaded by the trees as well, not in the sun constantly. Yeah, no, it's brilliant. Just to, to get so much done, yep. to be honest, all in one go, it is just going to transform it all. Yeah. So, yeah, as you can amazing. see, the, the roof's a bit old up there, but again, they're going to be able to get all that sorted now. Yeah, they'll be able to get it's just so much done with it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we'll like said, over the, the next year, we'll just be able to see how much it's just transformed. Yeah, we'll come so. back and we'll, we'll keep you posted. Yeah. So, this is where. Obviously, most of the money that you help raise is going to make a massive difference. And this is obviously for all of the like really young kids coming in. Um, it's in one of the worst states, to be honest, and they've just never had the funds to just completely transform it. So now, with the help of all your views, they're just going to be able to completely empty it and just completely gut the whole place and just transform it, really. Obviously, you can see just how much of a state it's in, and it's... It's heartbreaking, to be honest, to think, obviously, that the, the kids have to come here um, and the teachers can't do anything about it, really. They just don't have the funds spare to to spend on to getting stuff that we take for granted, really, obviously, just getting the walls sorted and painting it and buying new curtains. So, luckily, obviously, we've been able to help and all of you have made this possible for just a, a small school here in France. It's just amazing. So, like I said, we'll be able to keep you updated with how much it changes over the, the next year, really. I think Sabrina was saying that um, they're going to have like a, a big open day in, I think it was April or March next year. And they'll be able to show off all of the work that they've done and they'll be able to hopefully um, welcome like additional kids into the school as well. Because at the minute, obviously, they're restricted on how many they can bring in because they just don't have the facilities. So obviously with the, the money that you have raised, they're going to be able to obviously hopefully extend their capacity as well. So they'll be able to get more kids in here. So yeah, it's exciting. But like I said, they're going to get rid of all of the decor that's in here and just completely transform it. So they'll be able to sort out all the walls, get new wallpaper, finally get new curtains, which it's just amazing. It really is amazing. So. Yeah, it's just it's just such a good thing to, to be able to help people out in whatever way we can really. So 
Thank you so much to everyone because it's you that have made this possible. Obviously not us, you have done this. So thank you, thank you. So massive thank you to you all. Le grand merci à vous. Uh, c'est magnifique, oui? C'est magnifique, c'est inespéré, c'est incroyable. Oui. Merci, merci. It is it's just absolutely amazing to, to think that obviously all of us have been able to help out in a way mm -hmm. for the school mm -hmm. to get so much done for the, the upcoming year really. Yeah. But again it, it we have to reiterate this isn't just one year's worth of uh, differences it's gonna make, this is gonna make a difference for the next five, ten years mm -hmm. because they are so good with how they spend the money and what they do. Mm -hmm. This is gonna benefit kids for the next five, ten years and that, yeah, I think that's exactly what the well. most inspiring thing seems to be really classic c'est pour les prochains enfants ici, pour les prochains cinq ans, dix ans. Oui, mm -hmm. complètement. C'est pour l'avenir. Yeah. Yeah. So for the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We've never, like, how long did it, it took them to, to raise that amount of money to do any of this mm -hmm. work? Mm -hmm. be, Normalement, c'est seulement un petit argent, un petit argent pour les meubles et oui. une pièce mm -hmm. à un ton. Oui. Ici, c'est tout. Voilà, ça va faire un bel ensemble et non, tout. Le, la pièce, le mobilier, tout en une seule fois. So it's really good because they can do everything and she's excited about it. So a lot of the work's going to be done, so we were just talking about it there. So a lot of the work's going to be done when they're going to half term. They've planned it all in now because they're able to. Um, so it'll be done at the end of October, beginning of November when the kids mm -hmm. are off school for a couple of weeks. And it'll give us a chance to come back and, and show you all what's actually being done as well. Some yeah. of it will be done in September and we'll see if we can come back and nous autres en septembre pour les fleurs, les, pour les extérieurs. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we'll come back in September to have a look at that and then in November we'll come back and show you the, the big works that have been done, the big changes that have been made. Yeah. Yep. And then I think the opening day is next year, is it April or uh, May? Uh, uh, March. Mars. Mars. Oui. Le vendredi 22 mars. Oui, vendredi 22 mars. <laughs> uh, so there'll be a big open day next year, they've invited us to come down to it. So they're going to do a big um, porte ouverte, so open doors for, for people to come and, and vi visit the school and see it in its new light mm -hmm. and hopefully attract more kids to come here because it, again it's a magnificent little school. It is, it's yeah. wonderful. It is, it's brilliant. Well for now we're going to get back to the chateau and, and do some work of ourselves. Work, yeah. yep. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of work. <laughs> so. Au revoir, bonne journée. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Bye. <laughs> You're the one that speaks French. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Go on then. If you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau, then please join us on Patreon. Where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history, and get exclusive videos.